And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time. Palm trees and a key that's somewhere west with an overdrive and a compressor. Pedal shy, my name is Gabor. Nailed it. <laughs> hey, welcome along. I'm Alex. We're going to check out this pedal from K-Line today. Please hit like and subscribe on the channel. Give us a thumbs up, ding the bell, comment, like, subscribe, all that YouTuber things. Yes, yes. Let let yeah. let us influence you. <laughs> sure. um, so just let's right from the start. This was sent to us by K-Line, so this is what you would call a sponsored video. Yep. Now the Key West. G'day. Uh, Alex, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a key that lies west of the east. Jesus. <laughs> no, so it's, a, it's, a, it's a, one of their dual pedals. Um, on the left side, we've got an overdrive, which is based on a, an overdrive that uh, uh, meditates on a regular basis and, and mm -hmm. found itself. Zen-like? It's very Zen-like within itself. Right. On the right-hand side, we have a compressor that um, it's a very hard compressor, possibly one of the hardest materials on the planet. Um, <laughs> uh, wheat picks. <laughs> wheat picks. No, based on a diamond compressor oh. on the right uh, and a Z-Drive on the left. Uh, you can stack them uh, and let's see what they sound like. Cool. So the setup is going through a Moztronics amp switcher, Cherry Tone OTS Mini 20, set clean, two notes, torpedo, Captain X for Cab Sims IRs. And we've got some tellies, oh, sorry, guitars from Fender. A guitarist. Guitarist. He's from Nashville. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> these are from the Japanese Aerodyne Special. Aerodyne Special series. series. Yeah, yeah. That's and any reverb works. you hear comes from from that as well. Okay. And we might use some delay as well at some stage from the Line Six Echo Pro. The tone dog in the house. T -t tone dog. Tone dog. So this is uh, this guitar. <laughs> Do you want to compress first or do you want to overdrive sure. first? Yeah, let's start with the signal chain flow, I guess. So, okay, so uh, uh, compressor, everything at 12 o'clock. So, uh, oh, we should say we've got an EQ, compression level and volume. Cool. Uh, everything at 12 o'clock. say compressors are hard to demo because you can't really hear it you can definitely hear it like, there's some serious compression going that's on that's substantial <laughs> that's so i mean like with all that stuff you compress the signal basically what you're doing is you're taking you're taking the the louder bits and making quieter which then makes the quieter bits appear louder yes. uh by turning the volume up as well uh, you've got an eq which actually sounded quite nice yeah, to the left it kind of gave it some some mm, body some and, and bigganized so how much compression would you like Less? Uh, <laughs> less than less than a lot. Less than a lot. Like let's go here somewhere and just check out let's check it out. Just check out the, the comp sure. actually it's put EQ in the middle, volume in the middle, and it's just check out the compression with starting all the way off. Compression is usually more of a feel thing. Is that too much compression or is that okay uh, where it is? Maybe slightly for general use. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The, let's check out EQ because I think EQ is quite cool. So, yep. okay, so that's a compression you like. Uh, volume is makeup gain, so we kind of keep mm -hmm. it at, at roughly the same volume as it is bypassed. Mm -hmm. 
Especially for yeah to to thicken up, fatten up a th thinner guitars like a Strat. Sure. Um, does it? It's all passive, isn't it? It's not boosting anything. It's just perceived. I don't think so. So it rolls off on one side. It really rolls off the high end, and then it kind of morphs into a rolling off all of the low end. So it goes from high pass to low pass, basically. Mm. Yeah, sort of. Shel it shelves it kind. It's like a shelving thing. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Why not? It, s it sounds like it. Uh, okay, should we try different guitars just for okay. funsies uh, with a compressor? Let's go for a telly, and we all know I'm a telly and a country kind of chicken picking guy. Are you? No. <laughs> chicken guy. I'm more of a chicken guy. Um, so this is uh, also from the Aerodyne Special Series. This is the rather lovely... Is that lovely looking? That just looks lovely. Uh, the Telecaster in California Blue, which uncompressed... It's an, that don't compress me much. <laughs> oh. Ouch. <laughs> wow. Uh so you got a Key West. That don't compress me. <laughs> wow. That was, even for me, that was low. of a country guy who doesn't know how to play country. Yeah. <laughs> That's, but give me more. I need some more. Yeah, now that's compression. Country guy. Yeah, yeah, what it is, yeah, of course. Yeah, right. What about the sort of more funky stuff? I used to have um, the, the yellow diamond compressor. Yep. And that was one of the... I'm not a humongous compressor fan when it comes to pedals. Okay. But that was one I was a bit... When I sold it, I was a bit... Oh, maybe you shouldn't have. Because that was one of the nicer compressors. There you go. That yellow diamond compressor. That was a while ago, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Does this remind you of that, even though it was a memory bank? Maybe, yeah. Well, the EQ. That, that EQ thing on it uh, is something that I always liked. Okay. Um, there you go. Uh, I don't remember exactly if it's the same or not, sure. but um, I do remember the EQ on it is something that I always liked, and I always liked having it a bit. I don't. I'm not a treble guy. I'm not much mm. into treble, so I like. Because I mean, that just takes. It actually does a lot. You can tell. Yeah, you can tell the funky players use it as well. Yeah, it's like a Finnish guitar tone. Should we? Should we move on to overdrive? Yeah. Overdrive. Do you want me to do it or you do it? We can keep playing if you like. We can keep playing? Okay. Tone, voice, volume, and gain controls. So the, the if you know the, the, the Zen Drive, the very centered Zen Drive, um, it's kind of that kind of Dumble-esque mm. in a pedal kind of vibe, kind of Robin Ford kind of thing. Low, medium, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Drive. And the voice gives you, I think it goes on most Dumbles, you have that um, mm. jazz and rock thing, and it kind of is that sort of thing, which yep. is a mids thing, isn't it? Is that... Because you've got that on your end. It's more like slightly smiley face as well. Oh, okay, so it's, it's, it's actually more like okay. pushed it like 
more and more gain too. Well, let's go for that. <laughs> That's smiley face. That's not frowny though, the other way. <laughs> sad. <laughs> it's not a sad EQ. No. But it's just less. Less tops. Maybe evens out? Hmm. More? Now with that heavy compression, compress me. It's a lot of sustain there. It's a jazz note. Play twice, yeah. Leave the gain up. Where's the gain? Oh, yeah, so all, all the way up. Okay. Hang on, I just want to check. Humbuckers? Even with, um, it's still got all that note definition, which is pretty cool. It's a good, the Zen drive is a good, good sounding drive. Oh, hello, dog. The, the, the dog likes it too. Hello, yep. Okay, okay bye. <laughs> Turn turn the compression down and just boost the volume. It gives you kind of like a sustaining, sustaining, boost. little bit sustaining boost. Yeah, maybe lead boost, uh, and then even you can dial in. Actually, let's just check that. Then maybe dial in the EQ also, so it pushes it a bit more. Oh yeah, it cuts a bit more. Actually, what if we 
Boost it, better low gain. What happens then? Okay. also makes things a bit louder that might be a bit silly yeah a little bit well it was everything on full <laughs> yeah. but it sounded good if you have it sort of there somewhere mm. and then just boost that that's quite a nice boost mad ballad soloness <laughs> I mean, it's not a combo that you would think of usually too often going, oh, I'm going to chuck a compressor in with an overdrive. Ah, see, a lot of country dudes do. Okay. Dudes do. Do-do. Yeah, they do. Um, country dudes do, do use it. <laughs> did done. Stacking. <laughs> lots of country players did done use it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Lots of uh, cousins like this combination. Especially and, the, um, the, the Florida ones. Yeah. <laughs> from Key West. Yeah, just stacking lo- lots of small amounts of gain is often a country thing. Mm, mm, mm. Different flavors of gain. It's definitely a nice sounding pedal. It's a good. It's a good compressor and it's a good overdrive. I like the graphics uh, actually. Graph. Yeah, and I thought actually that's uh, there's a pile of Kellan pedals we haven't done yet. Yep. Uh, sitting at home, and I thought I'll bring one for today to do. Pretty one. And I grabbed this one because it looks cool. I like yeah. the graphics on it. What do you there's guys another think? one with a shark on it. I should have almost grabbed, but ha- have that next to it. Next to it, yeah. 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 Beach with a shark. Can't swim. Hey, uh, what do you guys think? Leave a comment below. What do you think mm-hmm. of the Key West? Yes. Mm. Well, do you live in Key West? If you do, let us know as well. Or near Key West. Mm. Florida? Yeah. Miami? Down sad. Um, yeah, links below to social. Disneyland? And... Is it land or world? Which one's in Florida? I don't know. Let us know. Is Disneyland or Disney World in Florida? <laughs> one is in yeah, LA, one California. is in Florida. Yeah. Or maybe not anymore. I don't know if it still is or not. I don't know. Whatever. We'll get off track. (laughs) I guess. A little bit. See you soon. Bye-bye.